Tana Mojo's latest tour is spilling all the tea, from exposing Jack Wright's shocking Halloween costume choices to revealing Cody Cole's controversial past. The drama is nonstop. Tana's bold new approach on her cancelled podcast tour has fans and influencers reeling. And it doesn't stop there. Even a hairstylist advice turned into a major feud. This tour is uncovering hidden truths and shaking up the influencer world like never before. Stay tuned because this is just the beginning of the chaos. During one of the live episodes on tour, Tana played a game where she had to answer a bunch of hard questions in under two minutes. One of the questions was about the influencer who dressed up as Jeffrey Dahmer for Halloween. Tana hesitated for a second, but quickly revealed it was Jack Wright. In their podcast tour, they revealed Jeffrey Dahmer's identity was Jack Wright. Like what? I honestly can't believe they said who it was, but they did. Who was Jeffrey Dahmer in the Halloween costume story? Yeah. For those who don't know, Jack Wright has squeaky clean image online. So people were shocked to hear his name associated with something so controversial. The reaction online was immediate. Fans were stunned that someone like Jack, who has always presented himself as the innocent, fun-loving guy next door, would choose such a disturbing costume. Dressing up as Jeffrey Dahmer, a notorious serial killer, is already a questionable decision. But doing it repeatedly? Every year? Be like, never have I ever had thoughts about killing the person that I was in love with. And then like it'd go all around again and it'd be like, never have I ever been cheated on, never have I ever done mushrooms, never have I ever graduated college. And then it would get back around to him and he'd go, never have I ever killed an animal. That's taken it to a whole new level of disturbing. People started digging through his social media, trying to find any clues or past posts that might hint at this side of him. But Jack had kept his online presence meticulously clean. But wait. Tana did not stop there. She went on to reveal even more about Jack's dark side. She mentioned that he dresses up as Jeffrey Dahmer every single year and that he has a habit of bringing up pretty disturbing topics during drinking games. The weird thing about this person is every year they dress up as the same thing and not online. They're posting online dress up as, you know what I mean, normal and then Every single year of Halloween week, I see them out dressed in the same costume as the same thing. Can I tell you what it is? What is it? Jeffrey Dahmer. I don't think anyone should dress as Jeffrey Dahmer more than once. Pushing it. You really like Jeffrey Dahmer. Why? Three times. Are you paying an homage? Like it, no one should dress as Jeffrey Dahmer more than one time. That's all I know to say. Yeah. No one should ever be, like imagine just every year someone's Ted Bundy. Imagine every year I was Charles Manson. According to Tana, Jack partakes in some pretty shady activities at after parties. She recounted seeing him do some really dark stuff at these events, which left everyone in the audience and online completely floored. As if this wasn't enough, Tana was then asked about the smallest D she's ever been with, and she dropped another bombshell by saying it was Cody Cole. Yes. Who's the smallest dick you've ever had sex with? Oh my god, do no one look at me, Cody Cole. <laughs> Cody Core. For those unfamiliar, Cody has built his brand around being a fanny, relatable guy who roasts other influences. To hear that he was involved in Tana when she was just 17 is not only shocking, but also potentially damaging to his reputation. The image difference makes the situation even more uncomfortable, with Cody being around 25 at the time. Naturally, this revelation sent shockwaves through his fan base. Cody's comments are now filled with disappointed fans who looked up to him and now feel weird supporting him, knowing what we know now. People have been urging him to address the situation, but he hasn't posted since June 3rd. His silence is only fueling the speculation, with fans demanding answers and wondering how this revelation will impact his career. Now let's pause here for a moment. Tanamoju calling out Cody Ko is a big deal. 
Cody has always been seen as humorous, down-to-earth guy who isn't afraid to call out the absurdities in the influencer world. To hear that he was involved with Tana when she was just 17 brings a whole new layer of controversy to his persona. This revelation has the potential to seriously damage his reputation, especially considering the current climate where past actions are scrutinized more than ever. Fans are rightfully demanding for answers, and Cody's noticeable silence since the revelation only adds to the growing speculation and unease. Tanner and Brooke are now back from the cancelled tour, and they just had Paige on their latest episode. Paige ended up exposing an influencer too. She was at an event and saw an influencer she recognized, but couldn't remember their name. Instead of pretending she knew them, she introduced herself and asked for their name. The influencer, who turned out to be Tessa, did not ap appreciate Paige not remembering her and lashed out. Tessa's comment section was filled with cancelled listeners calling her out and she had to turn off her comments. Speaking of cancelled fans leaving comments, that's become a major issue for Tana and Brooke. During the same episode that Tessa's name was dropped, Brooke brought up a situation with a popular TikTok creator. Wanted to cut her hair and get a bob, so she messaged this creator hoping for some advice. The creator, Halle Jew, told Brooke not to get a bob and that she'd regret it. But Brooke took offense, thinking Haley was being snarky. But Haley explained that she was trying to be helpful as a hairstylist. Haley's messages were read in a different tone than intended, leading to a misunderstanding. Brooke's fans quickly figured out who Haley was and started sending her hate. Haley had to turn off her comments and release a video explaining her side. She genuinely thought Brooke was asking for her professional opinion and did not want to push her into getting a haircut she might regret. Brooke responded to Halley's video, asking her fans to leave Halley alone and admitting that she shouldn't have shared the story on the podcast. She felt bad and realized that her fans can sometimes take things too far. This drama brought more attention to Halley's account, with people discovering and loving her content despite the initial backlash. And in the end, it's clear that Tanner and Brooke's cancelled podcast is stirring up a lot of drama and bringing hidden truths to light. Whether it's exposing influencers like Jack Wright or dealing with misunderstandings like with Hallie Jew, 